Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be looking at some of the squads that you guys have sent to me, looking at some starter teams and some built teams and built squads that you guys have for the start of FIFA 20. Kinda look at um, just what you guys have for these squads. I wanna see what you guys have planned out. I wanna kinda analyze them and kinda talk about um, even some trading aspects of what cards could be um, you know, a little bit inflated on the market. And this is also gonna be something, uh, I, I wanna do this because I wanna also show you guys that you can get a lot of information from asking a broad question and asking people to respond like this. Um, and you can get a lot of information just by seeing some of this stuff on Twitter. You see maybe another uh, FIFA content creator put a post out, show me your starter squads, or show me what teams you guys are using right now. And you can kinda get a feel for maybe what some cards are gonna be OP and you know you just kinda of get a feel for what cards people are using and what they want to use on the game so that is an interesting thing that I think you guys are gonna be seeing through these squads but the main thing on this video is I wanna look at some of your starter teams and see what they look like uh, because that is a lot of the hype right now since we are we can't actually get on the game yet we're so close we are so close what is it five days or four days um, until that web app will be coming out but I do want to look at some of these starter squads. So this is why I tweeted a couple days ago. I said with all the hype surrounding building teams for FIFA 20, show me those starter squads. And then I threw in, you know, throw an estimate of what you think they're going to be as well. This first team coming in, you've got Inaki Williams, Brandt, Havertz, Witzel, and Babu, Hernandez, Militao, Mendy, De Jong, Jovic, and Ariola. Now, this is the first. This is the first thing that I want to say about a lot of these squads. Is a lot of people have a different. Um, idea of what a starter squad is because some people are going to use FIFA points at the beginning some people are beast traders so you know a starter squad for them is when the you know maybe two or three days into EA access that time period and they're they're at 200 300,000 coins that they can put into a squad some people our starter squad is like 20,000 coins because everybody's in different place so you're gonna see that we have a lot of different squads coming out here but already you can see we've looked at two squads already two replies to this tweet and we have multiple players that have shown up multiple times Mendy, Militao, and Ariola. I think you're gonna see this these three guys you're gonna see a ton at the start of the game I, and I, I even think you're gonna see Ariola, Militao, and Mendy actually maybe all three of these guys for an extended portion of the game as well because they link so well they create a great hybrid and they look to be very good uh, cards for early game and even uh, a couple months into the game as well. Another starter squad that's coming in from Just Die on Twitter. He's got Ben Yetter, Henderson, Arnold Gomez, Gulaski. Uh, this guy's playing phenomenal right now, by the way, in the Bundesliga. Konate, Rusilian, Cyprian, Onyekuru, St. Maximin. I mean, a lot of people are looking at this card. I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking at this card. Um, but this is a nice hybrid. This is a nice hybrid squad with some League One. Some French links to a Bundesliga left side in the uh, the defense, and some Premier League as well. So we have three different leagues coming in here um, for that squad. That's a bit of a more expensive squad. Here's another one coming in. This looks like a, an entire Premier League starter squad. You know, it might cost a little bit extra. You have Lucas Moore in there. He's going to be hyped up. I haven't seen a lot of this card. I have not seen a lot of Torreyas. Uh, but that's a solid card. That's a pretty solid card. 82 rated CDM Torreya. Uh, Madison, King, and Wilson. That's a pretty cheap strike force. Uh, he's, you can tell that he's looking to spend a little bit more money in his defense with, with Sanchez. Uh, maybe with Gomez being a little bit more Sissoko and Lucas Mora than he is in the attack. So that's also something that I find interesting when looking at these squads. Um, it's kind of interesting to see where people put their money everybody's different they value defense more or they value attack more but this is a this is a pretty solid squad you got some pace with mora king and wilson you got some solid cdms and um you know you have some pretty good early on uh premier league guys here's a couple other teams Ooh, we have some Serie A action with a little bit of uh a little bit of some La Liga in the back as well. Eder Militao with some links to Allen. That's going to be an expensive card early on. Ilicic, I haven't seen a ton of him. And I haven't seen a ton of Lozano. And that honestly surprises me because I thought I would see more Lozano links to Allen. But, you know, it's kind of hard. If you think of a Serie A right back, you don't have Cancelo anymore. Florenzi got a nice downgrade, actually. 
uh, not a nice downgrade, a, a substantial downgrade. Let's actually look at that for a second. Serie A right backs. I think Florenzi honestly might be the best one as of right now since Cancelo has transferred away. Um, yes, this is still a decent card, but it's more of like a center mid card than a, uh, than a right back, to be honest, in terms of statistics. So it's kind of hard to make a, a hybrid with Lozano, with Allen, unless you're throwing in some other Brazilians or maybe an icon or something like that. So I think that's why you don't see a lot of Lozano and Allen right now at the moment, but you might see them later on at FIFA if they get some informs or whatever. Here's another starter squad, another St. Maximin, another Ndombele, um, Zhao Felix. We haven't seen a ton of him, but this is, this is, I like this squad a lot. This is cool. Look at this. We have Zhao Felix, a Portugal link up here, Van de Beek, Tagliafico, and then some uh, La Liga with Prem on the right side. This is a very cool squad. Hector Herrera's got a very nice uh, starter card as well. Van de Beek's good. Bruma's probably pacey on the left side. Tagliafico's got a really good card. Hermoso has a good one as well. Adon and Felipe to get that. Look at this, boys. We have an entire, down the middle of the team, it's all Atletico Madrid. This guy must be an Atletico fan. Jao Felix, Herrera, Hermoso, Felipe, and Adon. Spurs on the right side, except for St. Maximin. And then uh, Ajax and PSV on the left. That's a cool team. That's a pretty cool team. Oh, this man was already prepared for Pookie. I put this tweet out, and people responded to this. Uh, before Pookie won Player of the Month. But this guy, who is this guy? I love epic wins. He was ready for Pookie, and he has come out. He's going to slot that uh, Player of the Month card right up top with Zaha, Lucas Mora, Gabamon, Tyson, and Ismaili. That's a nice link right there. Sissoko, Aguilar, Konate, Akanji, and Berkey. That's a pretty nice back line. He's got a lot of coins in these two guys right here, which is interesting. Uh, because he could definitely make this che this team a lot cheaper if he would take out Berkey and Akanji. That would uh, lower the price of this team down a lot. But, I mean, that's a pretty solid, maybe around 100,000 coins, maybe a bit less. Um, actually, probably a little bit more than 100K, considering the Pookie SBC would be in there, probably around 50,000 coins. A couple more teams. Here's an interesting one. This is, uh, ooh, we got some more hybrid action going on. Diego Carlos, I've seen him in a few starter teams. I haven't seen Furpo. I have not seen Furpo a lot, but that's a solid card. 85 pace, 75 defense, 76 physical. That's a pretty solid card for a left back in the uh, La Liga. Of course, he's got the Swiss cheese triangle over here with Mbabu, Zakaria, and Akanji. That's going to be a popular triangle that people rock with early on in FIFA. This Morales card looks very good. Kind of reminds me of Rebic and his move to AC Milan. He has a kind of a similar card to this Morales. Inaki Williams, of course, fast, pacey. He's going to be expensive, though, at the start. Um, that's a card that I actually want to look up. Let's look up Inaki Williams from FIFA 17. Or, excuse me, why did I say FIFA 17? FIFA 19, because this card should be pretty comparable to what he's going to have this year. He got a nice, actually, a pretty nice stat boost. 94 shot, or 94 pace, 80 shooting, 72 passing. He got plus two shooting, minus one on the pass. Uh, plus one in the physical, but look at this guy early game. Oh, yeah, look at that. I can tell that graph is way up Let's check this out early game 8,000 coins for this card early game four star skills three star weak foot He's now he got downgraded to a two star weak foot. Oh, no, but he got the stat upgrade That's interesting. So he gets downgraded on the weak foot from three star to two star He's a high high attacking work rates, which is interesting um, yeah, that is, that's quite, uh, that's quite the card right there with Anaki Williams. That's a straight paced, fast running striker. So that guy's probably going to try to slip some balls through in there. He's got Munir. You guys are pretty pacey guys up top. Anaki, Munir, Morales. Loss is a great overall center midfielder as well. That's a pretty nice team. That is a pretty nice team. Another ch pretty cheap team here. It's kind of hard to see. It's pretty small. Another same maximum. Wabi Saka. It's the first time I've seen him. Uh, Terea, Pulisic, Vardy, Cal Wilson, Sissoko, another pretty good Premier League squad. Another team right here, what do we have? Ooh, we have some uh, Chinese League to share with Paulino, Tyson, Ismaili, Vogt, Stark, and Bauman, Weiser, Delaney, Thorgan, Hazard, and David Neres. That's, that's a cool squad, that's different, but that is cool. Another La Liga squad with Anaki Williams, Jao Felix, Fakir, Kondogbia, Party. Another editor, Militao, and Mendy. And Felipe, dude. A lot of people are looking at this Felipe card. 
let me look at that as well. And so this is why it's so fun to do this, boys, because I get to look at some of the, your guys' teams, but also you guys watching this video get to see some of these cards that other people are looking at. So Felipe looks pretty solid. 90 jumping, 92 aggression. He's got great defensive statistics. Maybe if you throw like a shadow on him or an anchor, uh, the pace and the acceleration would go up. What if we throw? What if we throw a shadow on him? Shadow takes him to 76 pace with uh, 92 defending. What about an anchor? An anchor takes him to 69 pace with 92 defending and 91 physicality, but it does not touch the stamina. But Still, overall, that's a pretty solid card, uh, that Felipe card. So I understand why I'm seeing him now. He's got that Brazilian link, though, that's going to be perfect for Mendy. Um, and I do kind of like that squad. Here's a pretty low-budget one. Wow, that's hard to see. That is really hard to see, and I cannot zoom in on it. That's unfortunate. That was hard to see. Here's one. Jota, Jimenez, Hazard, Delaney, Ruben Neves. Interesting. I haven't seen a lot of him. Ru Patricio, Willie Bali, Angelino, Klosterman. This Delaney card looks freaking nasty to me. I think this is going to be a card that is going to be used for a while in foot. Uh, the Bundesliga looks fantastic this year for starter teams, but it also looks great for, let's say you run an entire Bundesliga squad. It looks very upgradable. You have guys like Royce, you have Witzel, um, you have pretty solid outside backs, not the best. Right back is kind of lacking in the Bundesliga. Left back, you have Schultz and Rusillian, so those guys are solid. Uh, but there's a lot of areas inside of the Bundesliga where you could start with a full Bundesliga team, you know, some 80s, 82s, you know, like a Konate back here or uh, some of the other guys like that that you've seen in some of these squads and start to build them up. So the Bundesliga looks like a great league for progressing a single squad uh, in this game. So that's basically a lot of the teams that I want to show you guys and look at today. Um, if you're still getting those teams kind of optimized and finalized, maybe if Pookie makes a, an addition into your team, I would say try to get those teams figured out here in the next couple of days. Um, because as we get closer and closer to FIFA 20, you're gonna wanna start to transfer your mind over from the squad building and the player uh, side of things, looking at statistics and stuff. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna get that all figured out before we head into the actual meat of FIFA 20, which is gonna be content on the game, playing the game, and trading, of course. Uh, if you're watching this channel, then I'm, I'm thinking that you probably are involved in trading at some way, shape, or form. So if you get that team settled and figured out beforehand and you know what team you're gonna be going with, then you can focus on some of the other stuff, uh, trading and investing and some stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video today, smash a thumbs up on it and don't be afraid to send me your teams or ask me questions on Twitter on in the comments down below or if I'm live streaming on Twitch, don't be afraid to hit me up with questions uh, because I enjoy looking at these teams. They are fun. I'm still figuring out my uh, beginning of the game team. I'm looking to get kind of a good team, but it doesn't need to be that good. I want to put most of my coins towards trading, uh, but we'll be figuring that out here as we get closer to FIFA 20 and the start of the game. So if you guys enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or want to show me your team. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.